In developing news right now, a Brownsville woman is getting ready to file a petition against tax assessor collector Tony Izaguirre, who was arrested last Wednesday. CBS 4's Tiffany Huertas has been following this story since the very beginning, and she joins us now with the very latest. Tiffany. Eddie, resident Mary Helen Flores belongs to the group called Citizens Against Voter Abuse. Flores says she's glad to see state and federal agencies assist in this investigation, but says that's not enough. Flores was present at the Cameron County Commissioner's meeting earlier this week, where commissioners discussed what possible actions they could take regarding the tax office. Commissioners met with their legal counsel during executive session. They were informed commissioners cannot remove Tony Izaguirre from office. If Izaguirre is removed from his post following a district court ruling or if he resigns, then commissioners could go ahead and appoint a new tax assessor collector. Although commissioners cannot act, residents can by filing a Title 87 petition. Flores is doing just that. She's working with an attorney and has begun collecting funds for the court costs and they're preparing the paperwork to file the petition. We want every elected official to run their office in that, in that manner, follow the law, be transparent, be accountable. And uh, sadly, that doesn't seem to be happening in the tax assessor's office at this time. If a member, any resident of Cameron County decides to, to um, file a petition to remove them, that'll go through a court. And like I said, if, if a court order is, is approved by, by a judge, then, then we'll act accordingly. But for now, uh, he remains in office. On Monday, Izaguirre was back in the office and held a media conference where he called the corruption charges against him unfounded and accused District Attorney Luis Sainz of prosecuting him for political reasons. We reached out to the District Attorney and he declined to comment. Now, investigators arrested Izaguirre and three employees last week when they raided the tax assessor collector's office. The Texas Department of Public Safety worked with the District Attorney's office and other law enforcement partners on the investigation. They called the case Operation Dirty Deeds. Probable cause affidavits released by the district attorney's office detail how an informant passed cash to Izaguirre in exchange for registering vehicles without going through the normal process. Izaguirre faces four counts of bribery, engaging in organized criminal activity and official oppression. Now, we did reach out to Izaguirre's attorney who tells us they're waiting to see this petition and had no further comment at this time. We will continue following the story as it develops. Live in the studio, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4 News and Valley Central.com.